It's a story of jealousy, great tragedy, comedy and redemption. It's about a fall from grace. It's, it's about the darkness within, you know, that destroys the potential for good life. It's, it's of course, about jealousy and uh, sex, and it's about friendship. Uh, and it's deeply about mothers and child and father and child. The story is really about two friends, King Leontes of, of Sicilia and King Polixenes of Bohemia. And uh, King Polixenes comes back to visit King Leontes, who is now married to Queen Hermione, and stays with them in, in the court for nine months. They have a wonderful time together. And at the end of the nine months, um, it's time for Polixenes to leave. And it just so happens that Hermione is also nine months pregnant. Leontes un unexplicably has a flash of extreme jealousy. Um, and throughout the first act, um, convinces himself that uh, Polixenes and Hermione have had some sort of affair and that even the child that Hermione is carrying belongs to Polixenes. And he's driven to such a point of, of this inexplicable poisonous jealousy that he plots to, um, to murder Polixenes. The play takes you on this journey into a very sort of dark spiral down of Leontes' sick, poisoned jealousy. And then it takes you on a rebirth into something intensely joyous. I found that the play, you know, touched a kind of eternal rhythm of death and rebirth, and that was profound. It's about class, and it's about the haves and the have-nots. I'm always moved by that. It d defies being put into one genre or the other, you know, and it, it's why it's so challenging to directors and companies and casts, and is that it's both a romance, a tragedy, a comedy, a uh, farce at times, it's a, a frolic, it's a, a romp, it's intensely poetic, um, spiritually enlightening, all those things. Uh, and that's why I think it's called a pro problem play, but for me it's not, it's just one of his best.